Hello, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a project pan update for the All Cream Project Pan. This is called Partners in Cream, and this was created by Step Lions and Outward Processing, and there are so many people doing this. It is very exciting. It's become a huge project. I will link the playlist down below where you'll see everybody's videos that is in this project. There are quite a few, which is very exciting. And yeah, this is an all cream project pan. If you're interested, I do have a whole project pan playlist, and let's get into this update. The first item I've been using a lot, but I don't really see visible progress. And that is the CoverGirl concealer. I've talked about this a lot. It's one of my favorite concealers. Yeah, it's still pretty full. Hard to say though. You kind of just never know with concealers. I feel like all of a sudden you need to take the stopper out, but I don't think I'm anywhere close to that right now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to still keep using it. I love it. And this is something I do want to finish completely. Two of the products in here are stick products and I decided for these that I just wanted to get 10 uses out of each of them. I do also have a separate project 10 uses and project 100 uses project pants if you are interested in seeing those. But I have used both of these 10 times and this one is basically a stick concealer from Maybelline that I use for cream contour and I am loving it. I have noticed the more you kind of use these type of products, you kind of get used to it. For a long time, I would kind of skip over cream blush and cream contour just because it's an extra step, it's more work. But now that I kind of started doing it more often, it's much easier to get in the habit of and I really like the way this looks. I do set this with a bronzer though, but yeah, I've used this 10 times, which is a win because this is something I haven't reached for a whole lot. And then the other one, is the ColourPop Blush Sticks. This is pretty thing. And this is a very nice, really pretty pink color. I used this 10 times as well. And both of these I use with the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. I've heard a lot of people mention that that is great for cream products. And I can attest to that because I've been using that brush for both the blushes and the contour and it works very well. Last up, very exciting. You may have seen this in my empties video. I finished a Stila Glitter. I was so excited. This is a full size of Sunset Cove, which is a pretty pink kind of duochrome. And I ended up not taking the stopper out of it because it's so dried up now. And I mentioned in another video, I have revived these before and it does make them creamy again, but then they just fall off the eyes. And to me, that definitely defeats the purpose of this. Therefore, I don't think reviving it is worth it for me. But yeah, I've used up everything I can. It's all dried up. And if you saw my lucky bag unboxing, I did get more Stila glitters, which I said I wouldn't buy anymore just because I like them, but they seem unnecessary. However, you're about to see one in this project really soon. All right, I'm bringing in three new, three new products because two of them I used 10 times, which is my goal. And then I finished the Stila Glitter and I'm gonna bring in one of those mini Stila Glitters that I got in my Beautylish Lucky Bag. I've already been using this one and I actually have some progress on it. And this is the color Dollish. It is quite pretty actually. I was excited that the three colors I got in my Lucky Bag um, in that mini set, it was colors that I didn't have, which is good. This is kind of um, a gold orangey one. It's really nice. I've been enjoying using it. But yeah, again, I got these. I'm going to use them, but I want to use them up. All right, and here's one that I just want to do the 10 uses thing again. And that is another cream blush stick from Milk Makeup. This was their birthday gift and from Sephora, and this is the color Work. I've used it a couple of times. It's actually very nice. I plan on using it with that same e.l.f. small stipple brush. And yeah, I think I'm kind of getting into this whole cream product thing. So this is a really cool project pan because a lot of cream products, particularly the blush and the contour, is yeah something that I just felt was an extra step and took more time. But now that I'm more in the habit of doing it, it really doesn't take that long. And last up is a liquid lipstick. And this, funny enough, so I already filmed the Shop My Stash video, which you'll probably see this week. Um, and I picked this for my Shop My Stash and I used it almost every day last week. And I feel like you can see some progress in it. So I thought, huh, you know what? Because I have used this, I've had this lipstick for quite a while. This is a matte retro matte liquid lip color in Mademoiselle. I've had this ugh, almost two years, which it's fine, it's still working, but Again, liquid lipsticks is not something I want to keep around for too long. Therefore, since I saw there was some progress on it, I thought, you know what, let's put this in a project. 
I wanna get more lip products used up this year. Something I really wanna do is have an even smaller lipstick collection because I just don't use a lot of them. Today I'm just wearing lip gloss, but anyway, this will be in this project and the goal will be to finish. Alrighty, that is it for this project pan update. I am pretty happy with the progress. I finished one item. I used the cream blush stick and the contour stick, which were kind of neglected before that. I am really enjoying this project and it's also, you know, making me kind of fall in love with cream products, which I definitely wasn't exactly before. Anyway, you can check out everybody else doing this project. I'll link that playlist down below and thank you for watching.